Hey guys, it's been uh, quite a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube. How is everyone doing? Um, I have been having just the most fantastic time the past few months. Uh, definitely YouTube and fitness have kind of uh, taken a little bit of a back seat here. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I got married to the most amazing woman in the world. I sold my house, moved everything into an apartment, uh, got a new job, went on a honeymoon, all those shenanigans. It was a blast and I had such a good time. However, like I said, fitness kind of took a back burner because you gotta have your priorities and those are absolutely my priorities in life. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video, get back into the YouTube scene so that you guys can know um, kind of what future videos are about and what my goals are over the next coming year. It's extremely important to have goals, it's extremely important to set yourself out to get yourself to be better and make yourself better as a person. So what my goals are specifically are going to uh, pertain to fitness because that is the point of this channel. And that goal is to make a sanctional event by next summer. Next summer and spring, there are a few different sanctional events for CrossFit. There's the Mid-Atlantics, there's the Rogue Invitational, and there's the Granite Games. All of those happen in the April to June timeframe. And for those of you who don't know, they have replaced regionals as a way to make the CrossFit Games. That being said, I have no desire or it's not even in the mindset right now of trying to make the games. I just like to make the sanctionals. So for those sanctionals, what you have to do is compete a few, complete a few different workouts that they release. And then you are ranked in those workouts. They average all those workouts together and you have to get in the top 20 or 30 people to compete in any given event so for those who um, haven't kept up my progress previously i've been doing crossfit for just under two years now uh, in six months after i started crossfit i did the open very similar to the structure of making these sanctional events i got about 28,000th in the world next year i did it this past year after 18 months and i got 3500th um, in order to really compete for a sanctional, I think you probably need to be in that top 1500, top 1000 range as just a gauge for the Open. So this Open coming up in about two months is going to be a great test for where I'm at when I look at complete competing in an event in the spring. So I have two months to get ready for this Open. And for this Open, I'd like, like to be in the top 2000 in the world. Um, but to complete these goals, I don't just want to throw out goals and hope that they are accomplished willy-nilly. Um, I really have to have a way that I want to achieve these goals. So first off, um, my conditioning probably needs to be improved. Moreover, my conditioning needs to be improved by lowering my weight. Uh, I really kind of let myself go, really didn't focus on um, healthy eating or anything like that. And my strength went up through the roof because I hadn't done strength before CrossFit. However, I found myself at about the 250 pound mark, which is just way too heavy to be competing in Metcons, specifically in CrossFit events. So I'm working my way down to about 225, which I think is a good competition weight. Right now, I'm about 235. So that's my first goal is to bring myself down. That will also coincide with working on strict movements. In the past two opens, strict movements have been my worst movements thus far. Handstand push-ups in 2018 really held me up. And this past year, strict handstand push-ups really held me up. Because it's really hard to move your weight, especially when you're in that 240 plus range. So by bringing down my weight, that will help. But I also want to try to get two strict workouts a week, whether that is legless rope climbs, whether that is strict muscle-ups, strict handstand push-ups, I really need to work on my strict strength. Another thing I want to work on are sprint workouts. Um, it's fairly easy to go about 80-90% in most workouts, but it's really hard to really push yourself to that 100% mark. So I want to get comfortable with being extremely uncomfortable. Um, the last thing that I really want to focus on is cycling high weight Olympic movements. So probably that 185 to 225 range of both snatches, squat and power, and cleans, squat and power. I think all of those would probably set me up the best as an athlete uh, to be a bit more competitive to compete for those sanctional events. So I'll be releasing a few videos. Uh, that's what you can expect. 
Uh, I don't know the frequency. I'm gonna try to have them out uh, probably every week or so is what my goal is. And in those, what you can expect is some workouts that I've done, some footage of workouts that I've done, an update on how my progress is going, um, probably some good workouts that you can complete too, and probably just my thoughts on how the road has been so far, whether I think I'll make it, and you know whether it's worth it or I need to reevaluate my goals. Anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate y'all sticking with me, especially how I haven't made a video in the past two and a half, three months. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this one, and I hope uh, you're excited about what's to come. This is gonna be my road to a sanctional event. Have a great day. Bye.